got a goal and assist for you tonight. What was working that you were able to show on this PTO that you can contribute on the score sheet there? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Uh, I just, you know, I saw that we needed some points to uh, get back into the game, so uh, I was ready to just step up and be the guy to do it. Uh, I'm happy it worked out. We heard from Deneen pregame, this group needs to bring energy from puck drop. You all were not relenting this entire game. What did you like about the team's effort against the Rangers? Uh, the, uh, this team just uh, showed so much grit and uh, so much spirit. You know, we were just coming after them. Uh, but I would say look, in the second period, we got a little bit away from our game. Uh, you know, we gave them a little bit more time and space. We weren't as hard on them. And a skilled guy like Trocek and others will take care of that. So uh, something to uh, take away from this game is exactly that. Just never stop and always be coming after them. Your assist was on a power play goal for Kevin LeBanc. What did you see out of him doing so well on the man vantage in these last two games? Uh, I, I just think he has a really incredible shot, especially in a tight spaces when there's not not much space around him. He mm -hmm. can just release really nice shots, and he also protects the pucks really well. Uh, he's that he's kind of sneaky guy. He just gets behind you and he takes takes that puck away, protects it, makes the play. Uh, overall, I feel like he's a really nice player. When was the last time you saw three fights in a game, let alone a preseason game? Oh well. Uh, that was a <laughs> couple of Fridays. <laughs> and just the intensity that you all wanted to bring. You wanted to bring more physicality. What did you like out of that effort? Yeah, I think uh, I think what we what we said before the game, uh, we just came out there and did what we said we we were gonna do. So, uh, big kudos to the guys that showed up. Especially, I don't, uh, I've never seen uh, or that was the second game I've seen uh, McKinnon play mm -hmm. and. For a little guy, he shows lots of gumption and, uh, you know, just battles hard and wins Bucks makes plays. Two goals for you, including on the power play once again. What was working with your power play units out there tonight? Uh, I think just moving the puck, breaking in with possession, and, uh, you know, it's possession before our position, so I think we were hunting the puck pretty well. Um, and, yeah, we got some momentum for ourselves. You're here on a PTO, and you continue to show up. Three goals in the last two games for the Devils. What's working well for you to be able to show your offensive talent that you've been known for? I think for me it's uh, just being a dog on a bone, getting on the hunt, and that's where the offense really comes from. Um, and, you know, you just keep doing it uh, night in, night out. It's been a good camp, and I feel good about my game. I know it was something we talked about pregame, but really bringing it to this team, playing connected, bringing a lot of energy, and that's something that was evident throughout this game. What did you like about your team's fight throughout the entire 60? Um, I don't think we let up. You know, it's quick to – you could just pack it in when you're down 5-2, but, you know, we're resilient and uh, we stuck, to, stuck with it for the full 60. So, you know, it was a good hard-fought game for – full 60 for us, so we played really well. How about that forward group stepping up with someone down out of the lineup in that third period and everyone just continuing to push? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, there's, you know, if there's a will, there's a way, and uh, you saw from all four lines, everybody wants to be here, everyone wants to play in these big games. I mean, it's exciting, it's a sold-out crowd, and this rivalry is uh, incredible, so it's a lot of fun to play and be a part of. Yeah, speaking about that, we talked pregame about the rivalry, you being from this area, seeing it to be able to score at MSG, what was that like for you? It's always great. I mean, you know, grew up watching the Rangers, grew up watching the Devils. So, I mean, anytime you get to score in front of uh, your home crowd, it feels good. Xavier Perrant didn't play any minutes in the third period. Do you have an update on him? Well, he got to lower body injury in the first period, and he kind of gutted through it there for a number of shifts in the second. And then, um, so we're expecting him to be out for a little stretch here. Is there any timeline more than a little? Not really. I think uh, until we get a little better uh, evaluation there tomorrow, we're not really sure. I think it's uh, uh, certainly a, a bit of an issue, but it's a pain tolerance thing as well. So uh, I wouldn't expect. I think he'd be questionable for our opening night. Okay. Looking at the effort, that was something we talked about pregame. Yeah. They need to bring the effort against a more experienced Rangers team. What yeah. did you like about that? Well, I thought that's uh, is a summarized the game for us. I thought we played hard. We played throughout. We obviously had a little lapse there in the second period, but uh, you know, I think we made it entertaining at the end. We pushed back hard, and uh, you know, for a team that hasn't been together for for uh, for more than a week, it was good to see that they 
played that way for themselves and for each other. Last night you liked what LeBanc did. What did you like about what he did again tonight? Well, I thought uh, he was just okay in the first period, and uh, then he uh, uh, just kind of started. Uh, he can make plays, right? He gets a puck on his stick. He's got a lot of composure with it, and he's got a knack for the net. I mean, that goal that he scored, he just put it top shelf and uh, and caught Shesterkin kind of on that post. So, uh, you know, he's uh, got a lot of NHL experience, and it certainly showed tonight. Another player with NHL experience, Jacob Zaborl. He gets a goal and assist. What did you yeah. see of him? Well, I, I think uh, Jacob is a guy that uh, always has the game in front of him, and he's always looking for uh, to make plays, whether it's getting up in the rush, reading, anticipating where things are going, and he's able to step in there. So I think there's always a level at the uh, when you're on the defensive side that uh, there's a little risk versus reward, and I think that's still a uh, area that he's uh, working at. We saw two goaltenders tonight. Let's start with your starter, Poulter. What did you see how to, out of his performance, and was it the plan to always just do two periods? Well, it was that it was the pl- plan, and uh, really liked his first period. I thought uh, he made some high-end saves there, and... Uh, uh, you know, there was times I think we got a little careless with the puck and uh, their D were very active. They kept on jumping in it from the point. And when they do that, uh, they're getting some high-grade chances. And uh, unfortunately, those ended up uh, going in. And then uh, Tyler comes in in the third period. And uh, you know what? Uh, another guy that gave us a chance to win. He gets an NHL start in the preseason before an AHL game. How can that experience help Brennan going into this upcoming season? Well, one thing that we uh, feel really strongly about is our goaltending. The guidance, the coaching that we have there, obviously Marty at the uh, top of the heap, a guy that just has a ton of experience. And uh, uh, I think any chance you get to play in the NHL and get to play exhibition game, what have you, uh, you just kind of just – improving your resume and I felt like uh, uh, both of them showed a, a little maturity beyond their years. Have you ever seen three fights in a preseason game? Uh, yeah probably more though sometimes I've seen three fights at one time I mean that's uh, you know the game's changed a lot but uh, I don't think I heard too many boos out there fans didn't seem to mind it. And just the physicality that you continue to see from this group. And Zaboral actually gave McKinnon a shout-out in his interview. What are you seeing out of some of those players really stepping up with that side? Yeah, I I like that part. And I think that was uh, one of uh, Sheldon's uh, go-to words during training camp, that uh, the level of physicality is going to make a big difference for you. So uh, I think we had that recognition, and uh, I think we saw it. And I think it's impactful in a game like ours that – physicality makes a difference.